recently, I've been feeling like people are asking questions they don't really want the answers to. For example, what's up? <laughs> what's new? How you doing? To which we all respond, not much. I'm fine. How about you? Because we are all modest. Or else busy. And when you meet or greet someone for a moment on the street, you don't want them to have to endure an autobiographical summary. So instead, you just return the favor of feigned interest. You see, the first 15 seconds of every conversation these days is a wasted piece of dialogue. Where neither person really cares what the other one is saying. It's just accepted, expected. Almost required. And of this, my friends, I'm getting tired. Because I have questions to which I really want the answer. So I'm up here to speak my mind. And to make up for all those 15 seconds, I, I hope these words are worth your time. How did we get stuck in this MTV generation? Or this brand spanking new gangsta nation where rap's regurgitation of hip hop leads to a celebration of intelligence constipation. Where kids are losing all concentration, trying to suppress their hard-earned education. And planting instead a language mutation of slang words and curses to give the sensation of pure teenage anger and social frustration. With a stipulation that articulation is a dying form of communication. Submitting to the misconstrued idea that use, inspiration, and innovation can only come in the form of a rap. Or rhyme. Or angry punk song. Or advertisement. Or label on the back of designer clothes. It's, it's not, not that, that we're shallow. shallow. No. no. It's that the surface of a lake won't move unless provoked. But throw in a stone and see how deep these waters are. It's, it's not, not that, that we're shallow. shallow. No. no. Without something to focus on, we are left with empty hearts and angry hormones. Give, Give us something, something to fight for, and, and we will fight. fight. Because ask the youth of the world today, and they will tell you, we are not scared of dying for a cause. We, we are scared of not finding a cause where dying for, because idle hands may be the devil's playground, but idle minds are where peer pressure thrives. Left alone, we trust each other before we trust ourselves. United we stand, but divided we follow. Anyone in front of us willing to lead the way, so. Whatever happened to fifth grade math, will you teach us how not to divide ourselves based on skin color, sexual orientation, clothing brand, or music taste? Will you teach us how to avoid multiplying at a rate we can't control, dying trying to console pregnant teenagers girls and stupefied adolescent fathers. We, we know so little, little yet fear, fear so much. We aspire not to expire at the hand of some infectious disease. Please, inspire us. Set fire to us. Tell us what you require from us. Just don't let hope retire from us. Who will teach us? Take the youth of the world at education, knowledge, and opportunity. Subtract preform prejudice and hatred. Factorize, but make sure not to cancel out hope. Don't worry about the will to succeed. You'll find it's already hidden in the equation. We do not want to be an annoyance. We do not want to be in the way. We are not just another math problem adults have to work around. We want to be the ones to solve. See, I'm that kid at the back of the class. See, I'm that kid at the back of the class. Her hand raised to the sky, just begging for a shot at that math problem. Just pleading for a shot at that math problem. Just aching, aching for, for a shot, shot at that math, math problem. problem. Just praying for a shot at, at the, the future. future.